Hi you guys, welcome back to another workout. We are going to target our full body today and I asked Instagram on my stories what you guys wanted to see, um, if you want to see a workout with weights or without weights or in equipment in general and the verdict is in and it's weights. It's equipment, you guys want an equipment workout so I'd be happy to share one with you. Today we are going to do another high intensity workout though. Um, I will always stick to high intensity, quick and effective, but we're just adding weights in this workout. So first thing I'm starting off with is some deadlifts and I'm going to attach um, my warm up and cool down video. It'll be in the description below on this video so that you can get some ideas on how to warm up and cool down because it's super important when we're working. Um, really with any workout, it's super important to warm up and get your muscles, get the blood flowing, waken them up a little bit, and that will give you the best results because if you cannot if you cannot expand your muscles, if you cannot work them properly, it leads to injury and you won't be able to grow if they are not ready to rock. So like I said, we're starting here with deadlifts, which are a compound movement, just meaning we're working multiple muscles in one exercise mainly our the back side of our body, so our back, our glutes, and our hamstrings. And I have a 30 pound dumbbell in each hand here, but just use whatever is comfortable for you because you do not want to compromise form here. You can see I have a slight bend in my knees. I'm keeping my chest and my back straight, my chest out, and I'm bringing the dumbbells just right above my feet. Then from there, we're going to move into these squat presses. So I'm squatting down and I'm keeping the dumbbells at shoulder width and I'm pressing them up into a shoulder press as I come up, making sure again that my chest is out, I'm sitting back, my knees aren't going too terribly far over my toes and I have a 10 pound dumbbell in each hand here and John thought it was necessary to record this because I was not in frame. So. Um, like I said, you just want to keep the dumbbells at shoulder width because if you bring them down, you can tend to, they can lean you forward or you just won't have the best form. So just keep them at shoulder width and press them up. This does get like pretty exhausting. So have fun. And now we're going to move on to some Superman. So you're going to lay on your belly for this and just pretend like you have strings attached to like your ankles and your shoulders and they're attached to heaven, you know, and they're just, they're pulling you up and they're squeezing you and then they're releasing you a little bit and then they're pulling you again. So you really want to focus on squeezing your entire body when you're up in this position and then relaxing. So hold it for two to three seconds and then relax. As you can see, my knees are off the ground. My chest is completely off the ground and I'm like almost trying to get my but to touch my back like i'm just squeezing really hard and this really works hamstrings glutes and back again and i love that exercise so next um we are doing this is pretty hard for me but i wanted to put it in here to challenge myself and you guys as well but uh, these little tricep extensions with flutter kicks when i have a light dumbbell for this or a light weight and um, i'm using just two five times five pound dumbbells here and we're just doing a tricep extension as we are flutter kicking i'm going to show you a few different uh, variations so this is another variation you can do running your arms alongside your body and i'm just showing you a lighter version if that's even too hard again but you're working your triceps there too and if all of that's too hard you can just flutter kick your heart away because it can get pretty hard on your back and on your IT band. So just if that's too hard, it's nothing wrong with flutter kicking. And next I move locations because I wanted to. I'm doing some man makers. So we're hopping down into a burpee. And of course I've got to get that, you know, that heart rate up. And I'll explain why I love hits so much because I'm sure you're all like, can't we just do an ex like a workout with no cardio, Galen? No, you can't. So we're going down into a burpee. We're curling and we're pressing. So we're working our full body here. Burpee, curl, and press. I've got two 10-pound dumbbells here. And man makers are killer. Getting that strength in that cardio in one exercise. That's the money honey. Okay. 
Next, we are moving on to these reverse lunge, squat, reverse lunge. The trio, if you will. So we're going into a reverse lunge with, I have a dumbbell in my hand. I have a 25 pound dumbbell in my hand. I'm keeping it up on my chest and it's, be careful with this too so you're not your chest isn't leaning too far forward and you're still keeping good form um, like i said just pick a weight that's best for you that you're not going like too crazy too forward and compromising your form you want to really lunge back deep and we're squatting and then with other opposite leg lunging again and we're going to do that for 15 reps i'm going to put all of the reps and the sets and all that good stuff on the blog post which will be the blog will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out um, so this is one rep the one lunge the one squat in the other lunge that's one rep moving on if you have a bosu ball great if you don't I'm gonna show you a variation so we are popping down we're doing 10 mountain climbers and once we're done with those 10 we're jumping up and we're pressing the bosu ball it's just another shoulder burn Make sure you're squeezing your abs when you do this. Every time you bring a leg up into those mountain climbers, pressing and getting right back down and doing it again. And I'm going to show you a variation. Of course, if you do not have a BOSU ball, I know that not everyone has BOSU balls, even if they do have dumbbells. I just thought I'd throw it in there for people who do. But if you do not, I'm just grabbing two 10 pounds here again and um, doing the same thing. So hopping out, doing 10 mountain climbers, and pressing up and it kind of looks like a man maker but I'm not curly necessarily if anything I'm doing like a hammer curl and I'm putting my yoga pants over my belly flab you know what I'm saying girl I know that you know what I'm talking about so after that I'm pressing up again and yeah I love this workout it's so good it's so good this whole entire workout I felt it so much in my shoulders and my hamstrings afterwards I was like what what did I do to myself? But it was a good burn. It's like, you know, one that kind of makes you want to cry, but in a good way. Uh, next, I'm just doing these planks, but I'm using the BOSU ball this way just for more stabilization in my core. And I'm tapping out on each side with my foot. If you do not have the BOSU ball, that's totally fine. I'll show you what you can do. You can just say goodbye and go on your forearms without it and tap and tapping is completely optional um i just would recommend planking i like to finish kind of a, a round with the plank um but if you don't want to tap it's too hard that's totally fine so i hope you guys really enjoyed this workout if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more workouts with weights and equipment please let me know because i do them myself so i would be happy to do them for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, etc. And I really appreciate you watching and I hope you do this workout. And if you do, don't forget to let me know because you know that I love when you let me know. Okay, have a good day. Bye. See you later. Goodbye. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.